What's going on boys? No guys here, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to press using the L1 button and of course using the right analog stick. Now this is if you want to learn how to press manually and um, to make it applicable to everyone we're going to use everything on balance so 5555 five, 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 balance that way you and these are the instructions come back stay back while attacking and stay central come back in offense. We're going to be using the 4231 eyesight is on the screen that little blob moving around that is my eyesight so you can see where I'm looking in the game and if you want to get better at the game this would be a good video for you. If you want to rely on team press and mechanic abuse, then this might not be the video for you. If you want to learn how to press manually, and maybe even positioning, this is the video for you. Now we're going to focus on just L1 trigger and pressing with the run and jockey, because I'll be honest, pressing with the um, right analog stick and is a bit too complicated to follow, I would say. It's all about experience and also teammate contain is another, that's another thing altogether. If you're my Patreon, I got a video from that last year, so you can check that video out on pressing last year. Um, of course, all my Patreon videos, all available, of course, for those that are on there. But let's get this started. Now, we just lost the ball in midfield, which isn't the best start. So we're going to run back and recover with our CDM here. One and jockey, press a little bit with our CDM. That's it, get the ball back. L1 trigger. We're also going to be playing aggressive this game. L1 trigger to... Oh, that was meant to be a ball roll. Game didn't register there. Now, the key thing is not to be aggressive with your back four. Now, I'm going to make a slide tackle across can't believe you actually scored that. I cannot believe. Was that left-footed Werner? That is a shambles. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm going to try to play aggressive as well. So you can see the way I play. Because people always ask me, oh, do you just sit back the entire... Well, they think I sit back the entire game. Because I tried... I, I don't really promote defensive players, pretty much some of you know. Um, but some might have taught people always ask, oh, why did you just... Um, you know, you play a bit more defensively, and obviously if I start playing aggressive, running out of my centre-back, and everyone starts copying me, then that's what the trap that everyone falls under. They run out with their centre-backs because they see a pro player do it, but they don't know the pro player uses the teammate contain, and they use a covering man. They just think that that player just runs out. That's a big misconception, by the way. So a pro might run out with their centre-back, but unless you're an elite player plus, do not run out with your centre-back, because you need to learn how to recover. Game just lagged there, almost cost me the goal. Run and jockey, of course, one, two, Atal made that run down the wing. Spam the ball going forwards. Nowhere to go, so we're going to do a fake shot. Stop, turn the ball around, wait for our CDMs to regroup. Reform the line. Ronaldo inside. AI deflection. I kind of expected that. Slide tackle before I get to the ball. That's what you call a 50-50 slide tackle. Um, that's where you slide tackle into the ball as opposed to winning the ball. And um, he's more of the, actually going, I'm going to run back here. No, 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 no. Run back away, fix shot away. That's it, keep it safe. Quick one, two, L1 trigger. Run, De La Feu, ball. Waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. Now, that was to the wrong person, but that will do. De La Feu, overlap, overlap. Nice, beautiful. Keep it on, run away, run away. Going to go back to the CDMs, recycle the ball, back to, we're going to see Neymar. Neymar should on L1 trigger there. One, two backwards. Neymar make that run. Perfect. Fixture inwards. Bam. That's it. Goal. Now, you may think, why is my player not making that run? It's only because he's got Neymar. Well, of course, it's absolutely not. It's good to do that one, two backwards. That one, two is what's very, very pivotal. It doesn't matter what team you have there, what plays you have. You need to do that one, two backwards. Neymar won't make that run on his own. It doesn't matter if you have R9, he won't make that run. The L1 trigger like that, bringing that player going forward. Driven through ball down the wing. Over mask cost 200k. Goalkeeper come out. Going to do a fake. I don't want his. Oh, that was bad. I thought his goalkeeper was going to come out. Recycle the ball. 1 2. De La Feu is a bit of a shocker. That was meant to be De La Feu. Ball away. 1 2. Back as I mentioned again, like last time. Wait for Neymar to make that run. Fake shot inwards. Good, good play for my opponent. Good defending that time. Going to be a bit aggressive now with our CDM, not with our back four, with our CDM. Now we're going to be passive. Oh my god, he outplayed us. But never fear, we've got full back centre back. He's right footed, so I don't have to worry about his left foot. We can move the goalkeeper if need be. And that's the reason why full back centre back. Are so, and if you want to play aggressive, you know, full back centre back is what's key. Again, L1 button. See that teammate can, um, that little mark above my head. As soon as I press the L1 button, change that player. I can be aggressive with my CDM. See, I can be aggressive with him. Keep my back four and shape one, do elastico. Oh, fair play. Good play. Run and jockey, get the ball back. Do some fake shots here. I'm going to wait for my... Looking at the radar now, observing anyone to pass to you. Not really, so I'm just going to bring the ball on the ground. Give me some time. Play it safe on the ground. Driven pass down the middle. Quick one, two backwards. 
Ronaldo making that fantastic run again because the 1 2 L1 trigger over Mars make that run. 3 1. As you can see, manual play, you know what I mean? Not relying on AI to make runs, doing everything myself. This is why I don't even need to use long ball because once you eventually become better at the game, you can trust yourself to make those triggers run. Um, nowhere to go. De La Feu come back from offside position, but he's onside. De La Feu. De La Feu. Oh, and then, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, in case how I'm dribbling like this, just left it dribbling and. In case you're wondering, oh, it must be your connection is amazing. Well, my connection is not amazing, that I can assure you. Um, my connection is actually horrific. You would know that if you watch my streams. By the way, I do stream on twitch.tv forward slash nil, guys. Link is down below in the description. I'm just trying to run it, left it dribble past my opponent. Unfortunately, Lurf left it dribbling into the ground this year. So you have to kind of, I kind of working on some new way of doing it. We have to hold the run button. Oh, let's run back here. Run and jockey towards goal. He's right footed. He's got, he has to cross the ball into the box. Unless he cuts into a good angle there. He can never shoot from the angle over there. Quick one, two again. Where do we go? Back to the right back. This time we're going to go to our CDM and do a driven through ball through the lines down the wing. Going to do a fake shot here. Bring it back again. Where to? The CDMs. Then what do we do? Have a guess. Quick quick guess, guys. Quick guess. L1 trigger. Fake shot upwards. Oh, that was a bad one. I think I should call it like interactive, quick um, watch and learns. You know what I mean? Like every time I do something, I'll be like, what do I do next? It's up for you, up to you to decide. Well, not for you to decide, but you to guess what I'm going to do again. Same thing, guys. Guess what I'm going to do here? Guess what I'm going to do? L1 button. Oh, that was too late. I should have just done it before I said it. I'm going to run back here with our center back now. See that? Play safe. You see? I knew that through ball was coming. I didn't even press it in my CDM. I observed the danger, neutralized the danger first, then I pressed. Now, this Marquinhos is too slow, and he's horrific on the ball. L1 trigger, bring that CDM forward. That's quite risky. Don't do that. L1 trigger there. First time, fake shot. Oops. Oops. Let's go away over here. Ball away. Inside the middle. Run. Run. Thank you. Don't. That's risky, by the way, those um, L1 triggers with your CDMs. Do not do those. I just wanted to show you this as an example that you should be playing aggressive. If you do a 1 2 with your CDM and you send your CDM forward, I can't believe I got. By the way, listen, I don't normally have this much possession. I'm not normally a possession hoarder. Don't get me wrong, but when I record these tutorials, obviously you need to understand how difficult it is for me to speak, think about what I'm going to do, say it, and then do it at the same time. So naturally I have more of the ball because I have to think about what I'm going to say before I do it. So that's the reason why. I don't think I hold a possession like this. If you watch me on stream, I'm quick, fast football, but of course, for this tutorial, I have to show you how to do it whilst having the ball. I have to explain it while I have the ball because everyone keeps going, oh, you're just holding the ball, plain boring. Well... As you can see, I'm attacking most of the time as opposed to defending. Ball away there. Ball away. One, two back. One, two down the line. Bring the players going forward. We see Neymar on the radar. Quick one, two back again. Ball away. One, two forward. Fake shot stop. Through ball. Fake shot stop. Oh, getting... Oh, can we go here? Ronaldo scoop. No. Oh, I should have gone forward there. Damn, I didn't think Ronaldo would get through like so. Ball away. Back. Ronaldo. Neymar, drag back. Oh my god, that was meant to be a drag back. Here, gonna use running jockey to be a bit aggressive. My CDM, not too aggressive. Slight tackle when I can win the ball. That was meant to be a slight tackle. Ended up being a tackle anyway. Ronaldo. Oh no, that was to Ronaldo. We'll take the free kick. So L2, R1, or whatever it is. First guy, run over the ball. A little bit of a jockey run. Neymar make that run. I want to pass ball to Neymar's feet. First time, fake shot down. That was meant to be to Neymar. Thank you very much, game, for screwing me over. Very much appreciate appreciate that. Of course, Marquinhos is terrible on the ball, so I'm going to distribute the ball away from him because he cannot dribble to save his life. Fake shot downwards. Up. Wait. 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 Oh, sorry about that. I just got a big side. I love doing those type of goals, by the way. I just, um, a guaranteed goal, I'll be honest, if I shot earlier. But I just like, um, if you watched me last year, you would have known that. The only thing that I used to do was just left stick, left stick dribble against my opponents. I used to love doing that. I used to, that's the best way. You know when you, like, you left stick dribble with a player that costs like 700 coins, like my Nakajima or Kian Pong. Some of you OGs will know about those two players. Or Marcelo and Striker, those of you remember FIFA 19. Slide tackle into the space. Sometimes the game registers a normal attack instead of a slide tackle. L1 trigger. We're going. Oh, we didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Um, driven pass forward. One, two. Ball away. One, two, one, two. Wait for the overlap. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nowhere to go. Back to Ronaldo in a space. Rainbow. Back. 
Fake shot away. Wait. Oh, we're not. Goalkeeper coming out. Oh, I thought he was going to pick it up. Shambles, shambles. Running jockey into the space. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. No. Of course, you can use agile dribbling as well. Um, if you're uh, a favor of... Ag oh, we got screwed there. Favor of agile dribbling. You can use agile dribbling as well if you really, really want to. Um, but I'm not the biggest of fans of agile dribbling. I just think it's a bit mechanic of using it, in my opinion. It is very, very effective. I just prefer left stick dribbling because it's... It's what I've been doing for the past 20 years, to be honest. Ever since ISS, so... Gonna run back. Okay, now we gotta defend the goal here. We're a bit in trouble now. Defend the goal. Defend the arrow to towards the goal. Oops. What on earth was that, Neuer? Pick it up. Neuer's playing hot potato is obviously not the most ideal. Quick one, two, backwards. Run. That should be fine. There we go. Oh, that was a bad... Oh, we actually got the ball there. Uh, I, I tried to do... A, I was trying to slide tackle to bring the ball forward. Had to change that into a fake shot very, very quickly. Run a jockey into the space again. Quick one, two. Bring that midfielder in play. One, two. One, two. Ball all the way. Lofted pass. Ah, too much. Lofted. That was a lofted through ball. Bit too much. Hit L1 button. Um, L1 button again. Our CDM. Now you'd be conservative because we've got no other CDMs in play. Other CDM is forward. Renato Sanchez, as you can see over there. Progressive. L1 button here. Use a CDM. L1 button. Change to our left back. Slide tackle into the space. Get the ball. L1 again. Set to back the correct defender. Should have got the ball there. With the goalkeeper. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. The key thing over here. Running jockey here. Get the ball back. Run jockey again. Defend the striker. Defend the striker. Nowhere to go. Chance of him scoring that are very, very, very low. Um, I do I do see those going in more often than not. Um, it was probably a 50-50 chance of him scoring there. But I, I felt comfortable knowing that that angle was too wide for him. To actually score. Um, double double tap Y. Okay, that wasn't the best. Neymar. Oh, class on the grass. The key thing is you just need someone's got high agility and balance to do these, by the way, these quick turns. That's all you need. And it's all about just moving your left analog stick away from your opponent. Unfortunately, nerf left analog stick dribbling, so it's actually nowhere near as it used to be last year. So I feel like not this time the game just bells you out. Running jockey here. Got the ball. See, I ran into the ball there. Ball away over lap. I'm telling you right now. I did not mean to make a pass there. That was meant to be to De La Feu, Just in case you're wondering. I promise you that was not meant. That was not intentional. That pass actually to De La Feu. Wait. Wait. That's a penalty ref. Oh, that should be a penalty. Again, run the jockey. Be a bit aggressive here. Be aggressive my CDM only. Okay, now we've got to change angles, change lanes. Now we've got to make a choice. Man mark the striker. Slide tackle when we get the ball. Good chance for me getting the ball there. So I ended up slide tackling. Bit in trouble here. Going to use an offside trap. Use our CDM. Oh, no, no. Going to run into the space. Slide tackle to cut the passing lane out. And I'll be honest. That was a very, very good goal. I suppose that's what you get for messing around. I'll be honest, that slight tackle should have covered that. We'll have a look at that in the end. That was a good goal in the end. Quick one, two. Oh, might lose, might, might lose this game now. You, you never know. This is probably the biggest mistake with I do. Ronaldo, first time fake shot upwards. He's never going to guess it. And that was an absolute shambles. What on earth was that? I did a left hand stick touch upwards. So he creates the 45 degree angle. That's a shot I would never take. I'll always create the 45 degree angle in front of goal. Marquinhos can't shoot to save his life. Where is Neymar? Where is Ronaldo? Where is De La Fe? Where is some one attacker that can shoot? I don't want him on the ball. There we go. I want him on the ball. Fix it away. That should be a goal. Done. GG. Um, unfortunately, that's the, another thing as well. You see, I don't shoot with just anyone. You know, I make sure my... I have an attacker. You know what I mean? Someone who's got above 80 shooting at least. You know, Marquinhos has got like 74. I think even less shooting, so I don't want to take a shot with him. You know, guarantee the shot. At least you're going to shoot, shoot with someone. He's acting like he's won the World Cup. Um, shoot with someone, of course, who's got 80 plus shooting. That way you get the highest statistical chance in front of goal. And I think that is pretty much game. Slide tackle here. Bring him down. Avoid that kickoff. Take the yellow card. Ref, yep, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Thanks. Cheers, ref. Man mark this guy. Oh, he's going all out. 
Oh, that is fair, fair play. Going to run in jockey. Man marked the, the angle towards goal. No! I thought the game was going to screw me over there. But we are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Anyway, that was um, a game. A very, a very, very good game. I'll be honest, my opponent played very, very well. Um, maybe, they didn't, maybe I didn't want to show too much of pressing. But more playing aggressive. You know, you can have a good, good look. This goal over here, I'll be honest. Maybe I should not have. I sh realistically, now I should not have made that slide tackle. I don't know. I thought he was going to do it with his left foot, but for some reason the game decided to do it on his right foot. And um, here there was almost no recovery. I thought there was enough pressure on him that he wouldn't score. I slid over there into the ball, not into the player. I slid to cut the passing lane, and I'll be honest, Neuer, you should have done better there. I mean, that, that that's that's poor. I think Werner is right-footed as well. Neymar's goal. Um, and of course, quick one-two. That's how Neymar made that run. Any player can make that run because anyone player makes a run going forward. Did a ball roll again? A ball roll. Why did I do a ball roll? Because Carl Walker's in the way. Guarantee the angle. Guarantee on my left foot. Fake shot inwards or take a touch inwards. And then it's a very simple goal. Very, very simple play there. Ronaldo's goal. Oh, um, maybe, maybe this is a bit. This is not. I didn't mean to show off here. I just really enjoyed these kind of goals. You know, just elastic movement and even. Um, and that was a simple goal. I should have just shot that earlier. Don't do that. That. This goal over here, now I'll be honest, I was defending this very, very well with Quadrado. I gave him space, and then here, this is the mistake I made. With Quadrado here, I should have ran back. As soon as I saw that 1 2, I should have ran back. Um, but for some reason, I chose the wrong player. And at this point, I used Mokiele to, to cover the angle towards goal. And I slid, and I thought Mokiele would intercept the ball. The chance of him actually scoring that was. Actually, no, the goalkeeper was bad position. To be honest, yeah, fair play, good goal. My fault. I didn't expect him to take the first time shot, but those are actually very, very effective from those angles. So fair play, my goalkeeper's completely out of the way. And then the Neymar goal, very, very simple. Just trying to find a pass to my striker and um, got the ball here to Neymar in the end. And very, very simple. Line myself up, fake shot around the goalkeeper, away from the danger area because he brought the goalkeeper out. And from there, it's a very, very simple goal. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this live stream. A bit more hyper action than usual. Um, I suppose it's kind of a bit of a watch and learn. Um, I'll be honest, this gameplay probably is a very, very good insight. Whenever you're losing, come back to this gameplay. It will normally rile you up for a better game. Because sometimes when you get frustrated, you forget the simple things like doing 1-2s back to your CDMs, 1-2s back to your strikers. Again, this goal would not have been the creative if it wasn't for that 1-2 backwards. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.